this very snowy day, Porter and I, hi Porter, Porter and I are happy to uh, be unboxing the Sense Solar. It's a uh, Massachusetts company that makes this, brand new company, very small. Um, they had some pretty good, I had some pretty good interactions with them over email, so I decided to buy a unit. Uh, the Sense is $2.99 to add the solar component clamps, it's an extra 49 bucks. And even though my solar system has monitoring, this will give me a really clean view between what the solar panels are producing right alongside uh, the, the watts that my house is, is spending. So um, it'll be a nice a nice side by side. Uh, for those of you who don't know what Sense is, it is a, let's how you explain it. Uh, it allows this device to sit at your, your, your breaker box and am I breaking it already? Breaking the breaker box? And let me put this out for a second. As I was saying, it allows you to uh, walk well, a little more. Uh, to see all of the production that you're you're making for solar, which I already do that anyway, but it's a it's a little bit um, it's a nice extra to have. And then you get to see what devices are using the most, and you get to highlight devices that are big power users. Oh, we got another. That's a box in a box. Uh, that are big power users um, of your house. So, for example, while you're not here, let's say that your uh, some of your your stuff is is using a lot more power than you like it to, and it's non-essential, and then you'll know to turn it off. So you can use your your home kit. Nothing else in there. Your home kit smart plugs, which I have, to to basically turn that off whenever you're you're leaving the house. So this is our normal sense unit here. And I'll do definitely cut to an install in a few minutes. Looks nice. It's something that you're never really going to see that lives in your, your uh, fuse panel. Looks good. Got your, uh, your plugs there. Um, supposedly you can do it yourself, but since I'm, I, well, I might give it a go. I just recently did my own um, light switches over here. So, you know, maybe so. We've got our, uh, our clamps. Behind the clamps, we have a bunch of cables, and it seems all pretty easy, actually. So I'll turn the fuse, fuse box off and give her a go. This is actually an antenna that goes outside of your fuse box, or break box, fuse panel, whatever you want to call it, uh, for the Wi-Fi. I don't think I'm actually going to need this. I know that the fuse box is all steel, but the Wi-Fi signal here, we have four access points. This is not on yet, but four access points that are all over the house. So I don't really think we're going to have a problem with, with Wi-Fi connectivity. But maybe maybe set it on the mount bracket there. A bunch of other cables. Oh, this is gonna tie the tire uh, and tail some zip tie tie work. And then over here, I believe, should be the solar unit. And it's just a forty nine dollar add on if you're already a Sense customer, and will allow you to read the solar install as well. So extra clamps there goes right into the unit. So I guess one of these is for one of these is for solar, and one of these oh there's a solar port right there in the middle. The others are for the uh, rest of the house. Uh, some some definitely some initial thoughts though is people are are, are complaining that it's not sensing things quickly enough. A month will go by before things start to really show up, and it's true. It takes a long time. Every every device in this home is you know from the thermostat to the furnace to the TV speakers iMac. Every light bulb, uh, the the weather station, they're all using a, a different uh, tone when you look at the electro uh, wavelengths. So it takes a while for Sense to figure out that, you know, the pet feeder just turned on at, at 6:30 a.m. Um, it'll tell me their device turned on 6:30 a.m. and then turned off a minute later. It's up to me to identify what that is. All of the things I identify do go sent back up to Sense. So if that exact same wavelength shows up for another customer, then it will let them know. Hey, we're pretty sure this is a pet feeder. Can you confirm yes or no? So it's it's a it's a learning that way, but we're all contributing with our wavelengths uh, together. So, you know, a year from now, presumably, uh, you'll be able to buy a, a a year old device, and if another two or three customers already have it installed, you'll just get a, a noticed immediately. For me, I don't mind playing around and configuring things, so I'm gonna just configure the heck out of it and 
stay on my phone and turn things on and off and just play around and try to try to identify things manually. Um, but this is the unboxing, I guess, of the Sense system. Uh, pretty it looks pretty nice though. I mean, again, you're never gonna see this, but it's gonna it's gonna live in my in my fuse box. But yeah, and the solar actually is installed. The uh, utility company confirmed they've received everything they need. And they're going to come out by the end of this week to actually um, install the meter that I need to start producing. So getting Sense installed now is, is perfect. It'll be uh, right when the solar system comes on.